Hi, this is Julia Gulevich from GLOG Software. In this video, I will teach you how to start working with Advanced Email Verifier. I'll show you how to set up the program settings, how to load an email list, how to verify the email addresses and save good emails to a file. So, open the Advanced Email Verifier and click on settings. You can leave the options on the general tab in the settings by default. Then click on the connection tab. Look at the Windows DNS settings frame. The program detects your Windows DNS settings automatically. So copy the numbers in the Windows DNS settings frame and paste them into the primary DNS server field. You can leave the secondary DNS server field empty. Click Test to test your DNS settings. Type your valid email address into the Mail From field. Now copy the last part of the email address beginning after the add character and paste it into the domain name for hello field. So these settings are sufficient to start working with the advanced email verifier. Click OK. Now we'll create a new list where we will load our email addresses. Click on New and select New List. Type a list name. And click Create. When the list is created, you can load the email addresses. You have two options. Load list and import wizard. You can use the load list option if your email addresses are stored in a text or CSV file. The file must contain only the email addresses aligned one email per line and the first line must contain the email word. To load the email addresses, click on Load List, select the file on the disk and click Open. The program will load the email addresses. If you have the email addresses and other contact information like first names, last names, company phone and other fields and you want to import all the fields into the list, you can use the import wizard. Let's create a new list. And to be able to import additional fields into the list, you need to add these fields to the list first. Click on Insert, type a field name, Then click on Insert and add a new field. Use the Insert button until you add all the necessary fields. When done, click Create. You can reorder the fields for your convenience. Just drag the field by the heading and drop it at the desired place. Now click on Import Wizard button and follow the steps of the Import Wizard. 
Select the file type, click Next. Select the file on the disk, click Next. Select the delimiter that separates the fields in your file, click Next. If the first row in your file contains the field names, type 2 in the first row to skip the field names, leave other fields by default and click Next. At this step you need to make the field mappings. You can click this button to map the field automatically. If the program make wrong field mappings, you can adjust them manually. To do this, click an arrow in the field heading and select the right field name. This is the first name, this field is last name, this field is company and this one is phone. When the fields are mapped, click Next. At this step, check the field mappings and click Next. Here you can preview your data, click Next, select the Import mode and click Execute. As you see, all the fields from our file were imported. Now you can click Start to start verifying the email addresses. When the verification is complete, you can save good email addresses to a file. To do this, you need to filter the emails by the verification result. Click an arrow in the verification result field heading and select Custom. Set the filter like verification result like Good and click OK. Now you have two options to save good emails to a file. Save and export wizard. The save option saves all visible fields to a text file. You can hide unwanted fields from the screen. To do this, click here and uncheck the boxes next to the fields you want to hide. Now click Save. The verification results will be saved in this format. Let's remove the filter now. If you see that some emails were marked as unknown or timeout, you can look at the last response field to see the error message. You may want to leave such emails within your list and send a message to them to see if the message bounces or not. So, if you want to keep good, unknown and timeout email addresses within your list, set the filter in this way. Click on the Filter Data button, set the filter criterion to OR and add the filter conditions. Verification result like good or verification result like unknown or verification result like timeout. Click OK. As you see, we removed only bad email addresses from our list. Now you can use 
the save option to save the verification results to a text file or you can use the export wizard to save the verification results to any other file. Let's save the results to an Excel file, for example. Select Excel file, click Next, Next, Next. At this step, you can select what fields you want to save. Just remove the check marks next to the fields that you do not want to save to a file. Click Next, 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 Next. At this step, select the folder to save the file and type the file name. Click Save. To finish, click Execute. So this is how you can verify email addresses using the Advanced Email Verifier.